I'm Curtis, aka Barbie Vlogs, with my corn snake Johnson and my dog Clara. And we live in Dublin, Ontario. You're watching Trucker Josh Vlogs. Enjoy the show. There's a hot one down here near Remington, Indiana. Uh, right close to Walcott, Indiana as well. No idea where that is, but it's right here. It's gonna be a full day's drive. We have 620, 650 miles to go. So let's hope for good traffic conditions, good weather conditions, and no delays. Because I want to get right to the customer and sleep there tonight. That's the goal. Anybody feel like racing? We're in Indianapolis. What do you do when you're in Indianapolis? You race. Right? Isn't that what this city's known for? Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I'm not from here. Indy 500, isn't that from here? Ah, I don't know. Don't listen to me. Here's Indianapolis. Nice little shot of downtown here as we go past. So many amazing cities over here in Canada and the United States. I've been through here countless times, but you know, that's the one good thing about this job. I like being over the road and not having a dedicated route because you see something different every day. You don't do the same thing over and over and over and over again. So even though I've come through here many, many times, it's still sort of special every time, you know, because it's not something I do every day. Like I haven't been through here in weeks. So it's nice to come through here and be like, oh yeah, it's still here, look at that, there it is. And today's a nicer day, you know, next time I come through here, God forbid there might be snow. I don't think so. I think I'll be through here before that, but you never know. Canada's getting ready for snow, you know? Next month, usually we get our first snowfall in the last two weeks of October. Don't mean to put a damper on your day or anything unless you like snow. I wish I had a snowmobile because then I would be more excited for winter. One day. One day. It is on the list of my toys to get. It is on the list. I just don't know when we'll get to it. I, I was thinking we must be getting close to a city because for the past half hour there's been nothing but traffic and cars everywhere. And we came around the corner and, oh, look at that, there it is, Indianapolis. That's how I can tell. Two kilometers. Keep what? left on I 65. Andy, we're in the states. You have to talk in miles. They have no idea what you're saying. You're speaking Chinese to them. I use both. Go, I go back and forth between uh, Imperial and Metric. In the States, they call their measurements standard. Uh, I guess Imperial would be United Kingdom measurements, right? I don't know. In Canada, like, I, I call them American measurements because they're not standard in Canada. Or anywhere else in the world, for that matter. <laughs> I need to get into that lane. Then keep right. I have my signal device activated. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Go toward Louisville. Louisville. On to Louisville. I, south. I think they pronounce it Louisville. Louisville. Oh, bumpy, bumpy bridge connections. All right, there we go. What are we in Canada? I need another coffee. I don't have to go to the bathroom. Here's a tip for you new people just getting into trucking. Always go to the bathroom before you drive through a big city. You never know how long you're going to be stuck in traffic going through these cities. Okay. I'm not sure how I feel about you during rush hour yet. I came at a bad time. 
it's not so bad here now it was uh, worse on the last freeway but you can see there's still lots of lots of activity going on here lots of people doing stuff going places they're all going home from work at the same time like a bunch of robots look at you guys doing the same thing every day back and forth back and forth I can't move over guys I see your signal there and I left room for you if you want it take it take it accelerator pedal use your accelerator all right well then I got no patience for you I gave you space you can't find your accelerator not my problem I'm not gonna disrupt the flow of traffic to let your slow butt into traffic all right that's called impeding traffic and then I would be in violation Any. I really, I really have a lot of pet peeves when it comes to merging. Merging and bright lights at night. Those are my two biggest pet peeves. Anyway, Kentucky. I don't have my banjo with me today. I'm sorry. Hope you'll forgive me. I'm just passing through on the way to North Carolina. Don't be mad. It's a peanut butter and jelly kind of afternoon. I got the craving, you know what I'm saying? Got the craving. Gonna run out of grape jelly on this one. Oh no. Good thing we got some backup strawberry. Oh yeah, there we go. That's it for that one, Diesel. Uh-huh. I won't kick the bucket. Mm-hmm. Bye-bye, grape jelly. Mm. Why do they call it jelly? Isn't it jam? Or are they two different things? I think we've had this conversation before. Damn. All right. Can you hear me over there? Listen up. Now this is pure strawberry jam. Oh. Oh, yes. Oh, we're putting a little extra on there. Yep, we're treating ourselves today. Oh. Yep. Oh, hey, look at that. That's fun. Okay. Apparently we're on a... On a... Bit of a slant here, or a shife. Crooked. Can you still hear me? I don't know if the camera will pick up my voice or not. Oh, we need a little bit more than that. We're going a little overboard. We're, we're spoiling ourselves on this one. There we go. Nice and juicy. Nice and juicy. Hey! Trying to make a sandwich in here. Calm down. Driving around. Hey, now we got Peter Pan. Honey roasted creamy peanut butter. Peter Pan. Didn't know he had his own peanut butter. I didn't even know he liked peanuts. He has his own peanut butter diesel. Peter Pan. There you know, eh? Gotta get a good spoonful of that goodness. Yep, and you just put it right on there like that. And you use the spoon as a spreading device. It has a multi-purpose use. See what I'm doing? See, see what I'm doing there? That is what you call genius. Innovation. I don't know. One more, one more. You gotta get a good scoop. You only want to go in once. You don't want to have to go back for seconds. Alright. Oh, that's a lot. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's gonna be real juicy. That is way too much, way too much. Yeah, we're just going to leave it just like that. Yeah, there we go, way too much. There you go. That's how you make some goodness. I'm just going to put that down right behind you. You guys hold hold on, you take care of those sandwiches for me. And then we got to get this peanut butter out of the spoon. Mm. Oh yeah. That was good. No, you can't have any diesel. Come on. You got your own treats. This is my treat. Oh, yeah. Mm. yeah. There you go. Just like that. And you gotta clean the table. Mm. Beautiful. Put these away. Close your eyes. You're not supposed to see my secret compartment where I keep my peanut butter. And my jam. Don't want you guys coming in here and stealing my 
My devices. Hey, hey, why aren't you? Hey! There we go. Okay. Woo! I'm excited. So we have our next load. After we deliver this load, three drops into North Carolina tomorrow. We head over to Kinston, North Carolina. We pick up a different trailer there. We leave this empty trailer over there with them. The other trailer we're picking up actually has other stuff in it. We're gonna take that other stuff all the way up to Ontario, unless the plans change. And we only gotta be there for Monday, so we got a lot of time. So I'm not in any real rush. I just wanna get there with enough time to get a reset. But, but the way it looks right now, I'm gonna be there Friday night and I can't unload till Monday morning. So it looks like maybe, you know, maybe we'll go see a movie on the weekend again. I don't know. It's payday tomorrow, so I'll have some money. Diesel, we should go see, well, I should go see a movie. But I'll come back here and tell you all about it. Nice little town here in Kentucky. We're sort of on the back roads, taking a bit of a shortcut on the way down towards North Carolina. I don't know if it's much of a shortcut because of all the stalking. Turn right on coming Street Southwest. I'm turning, I'm turning. You see this? I see the green arrow there. You see my signal? Okie Dinah, we made it just barely again. 10.75 hours of driving today. 10 hours, 45 minutes. Maximum I'm allowed to drive is 11. Remember that? And we made it right here to the customer too. Just around the corner actually, They're, they had a gate on their yard. Who locks their doors at night? Once I have my load and I'm headed up to Ontario, I'll be, I'll be able to take my time mostly because like I said, I'm gonna pick up the load tomorrow. I'm gonna get almost to Ontario tomorrow. I just thought of this. My first drop is in Windsor, Ontario, right at the border, right on the Canadian side, uh, just across the river from Detroit. Uh, and it takes, it's gonna take me 12 hours to drive that. And I'm three and a half hours away from Kinston, so I'll get at least halfway there tomorrow, on Thursday, I'm thinking. And then Friday, I'll drive the rest of the way, then I can't unload until Monday. So I'll probably drag my feet and uh, enjoy the scenery and enjoy the ride, enjoy wherever I'm at. But I'm gonna end the vlog here tonight. Thanks for joining me today. It was a lot better having you with me. I'd hate to have to do this alone every day. So thank you for tagging along. Don't forget, tell your friends about the vlog by sharing it on your Facebook or Twitter. I really appreciate when you guys do that because if you guys enjoy the videos, I'm sure some of your friends would as well. Share it out and eventually one day in the next while, I'd like to get up to 100,000 subscribers. Uh, it's a big benchmark. We're a little ways away yet. It's gonna take some time yet, but with your help, we can get there. I'll see you tomorrow. Anytime after 4 a.m. Central Time.